Welcome to Scoop Canada, the hub of independent and critical news analysis. In a twist that's shaking the foundations of international diplomacy, Canada's election meddling probe has now officially drawn India into its web, alongside China and Russia. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, often criticized for his handling of national security, has opened a Pandora's box, one that might cost Canada dearly in its diplomatic endeavors. Before we delve into today's eye-opening topic, remember to hit the subscribe button for more unfiltered and conservative-leaning insights. Last year, Trudeau announced an inquiry after intelligence documents leaked, claiming China's interference in Canada's elections. The focus? Alleged support for candidates favoring President Xi Jinping's government. Now, this inquiry, led by Quebec Judge Marie-José Hogue, has expanded its scope to include India, stirring a hornet's nest of international tensions. The Commission's Latest Move? Investigating Prime Minister Narendra Modi's government over possible meddling in Canada's 2019 and 2021 elections. The specifics of these allegations remain under wraps, but the implications are enormous. But let's rewind a bit. Remember September last year, when Trudeau accused India of orchestrating the murder of Sikh activist Hardeep Singh Nijar on Canadian soil? Nijar, a Canadian designated a terrorist by India for his Khalistan movement advocacy, was killed by masked assailants. India's response? A vehement denial, calling Trudeau's claim absurd and motivated, leading to a diplomatic standoff that saw both nations pulling out their top envoys and India suspending visas for Canadians. Interestingly, this claim seemed to gain some traction when U.S. federal prosecutors accused Indian government agents of a failed plot to kill a Sikh separatist in New York. But, as tensions simmered, India took a cooperative stance with the U.S., unlike its fiery exchange with Canada. Now, let's focus on the Kalistan movement, a significant element in this diplomatic drama. Many Canadian Sikhs, descendants of those who fled violence in Punjab, carry unresolved memories, fueling support for Kalistan. Yet, this support remains a minority stance within the broader Sikh community in Canada. Nijar, for instance, championed Kalistan through democratic means, organizing a non-binding referendum. Critics argue that Modi's government, accused of targeting political opponents and religious minorities, has unintentionally revitalized the Kalistan movement. But India sees Kalistan as a national security threat, prompting crackdowns within its borders and demanding action from countries like Canada. The tension isn't new, it dates back to the 1980s, marked by tragic incidents like the bombing of Air India Flight 182. Canadian authorities have been balancing between monitoring extremists and respecting the Sikh community's rights, a tightrope walk that's becoming increasingly challenging. As this inquiry unfolds, Canada faces a delicate situation. While aiming to protect its electoral integrity, it risks further straining its ties with two global powers, India and China. The initial hearings will focus on the challenges of disclosing classified national security intelligence to the public, a move that could open more cans of worms. In conclusion, this inquiry is not just about meddling, it's a complex saga of international relations, minority rights, and Canada's diplomatic finesse under Trudeau's leadership. As we closely follow these developments, one thing is certain, the political and diplomatic landscapes are shifting and Canada is right at the epicenter. That's it for today's episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe to support our independent channel. Also, if you appreciate our independent news platform, please consider donating by clicking the link in the description below. Your support keeps our channel thriving. Stay tuned for more critical analysis and unfiltered reporting.